Work is underway on Center Stage's newest play featuring an all-star cast and written by a playwright from right here in Baltimore. We're gonna go ahead and kick this off. Thank you. Carrying a bucket. What am I making this up? Folks at Home is the work of R. Eric Thomas. I learned how to love theater at Baltimore Center Stage. Um, sitting at a matinee of an August Wilson play or seeing uh, you know, Death of a Salesman or Sweeney Todd. Um, you know, I've, I was a subscriber for years um, uh, and I am still a subscriber um, and uh, everyone should be. And um, I, uh, I learned how to see myself on stage. Um, some of the audiences that I saw in Baltimore Center Stage when I was growing up were some of the most diverse audiences. Um, that I was encountering um, going to theater and that was really important to me because it said that not only could I exist on the stage but I could also be seen off the stage um, and people like me could be seen off the stage and so being able to be back here in a play that I, I wrote specifically to reflect my experience as a, as a person, as a Baltimorean um, and as an artist um, and a black person and being able to sort of welcome all of the people uh, back into this house um, is a real honor for me. He wanted to make sure the world premiere of Folks at Home happened right here at Center Stage. Uh, the Folks at Home is a um, family comedy that's styled after the Norman Lear comedies of the 70s and 80s, so All in the Family, The Jeffersons, Good Times. One of the things that those comedies did very well was they uh, took political and social issues and incorporated them into sitcom vernacular. And so I was very interested in whether those, that same strategy could be used in a theatrical context, and spoiler alert, it can, it works very well. <laughs> and also whether it could be updated to our contemporary lens. And so it focuses on um, an interracial couple, Roger and Brandon, um, who are behind on their mortgage and trying to make ends meet and they think they might have to sell the house and that's a point of contention for them. Then their parents all have to move in with them because their parents run into economic issues as well. And so what starts off as a uh, sort of sitcom scenario with a, a full house really becomes something greater and grander and both very touching but also very funny as they all sort of struggle for visibility and struggle to break out of these uh, sitcom tropes that sometimes they've been seen in. Um, it's a very funny play, but it's also a really touching play. Have you heard noises in this house? The play was powerful enough to attract back the likes of E. Faye Butler, a renowned actress known well to audiences here in Baltimore, even though she hasn't taken the stage here in at least 10 years. It's about Baltimore, written by a Baltimore writer. Um, it's about family. It's about coming back home. So all the things that I love about Baltimore is what this show is about. Ife met the role of Pamela with compassion and understanding, something audiences are sure to notice in her portrayal. Pamela is a middle class black woman in Baltimore who lives in Woodland Park or Woodlawn as some people would say, uh, who is just trying to keep her head above water and uh, she's lost her home, unfortunately. And she's a woman of a certain age that when you lose your home to foreclosure, when you're almost ready to retire, it stings. It's why so many Americans and especially African-American families have to work until they die um, because they're trying to just keep their head above water. So she's a woman with a lot of dignity. She loves her family. She adores her husband when they've been together 35 years and they've never left Baltimore and they have a daughter that's married and successful with a family and they have a son that's gay that took a minute to get used to. But uh, she's embracing that and he's married and now she's come to a crossroad in her life where wow, things are not like she thought they would be. A new role in a new play with some new faces and some familiar ones too. Just like the story, of the folks at home is kind of exactly what this cast is. A little bit of new with a lot of seasoning on top. It makes things taste good. A little Old Bay on the top of that yeah, thing. It's like I like it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what program is this? What is this? A familiar face of TV lovers is that of Jane Kaczmarek. 
Yes, Malcolm in the Middle's TV mom has returned to the stage. Uh, you know, there's that wonderful uh, T.S. Eliot poem that ends something like, um, the end of all our wandering is to arrive at the place we started and know it for the very first time. She plays the other mother, Maureen. Maureen is a, um, well, we hope, she, I think she aspires to be working class. She's pretty, um, uh, somebody who's been pretty poor uh, her whole life, never really thinks much about that, doesn't have many aspirations. She's, she, well, she really wants to become a greeter at Walmart. And one of the, re the reason I think she wants to be the, uh, the greeter at Walmart is she just loves talking to people. She loves, you know, she's talking, 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 and she can be annoying. <laughs> so what drew you to her? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. <laughs> you know, you get a maid and all of a sudden. What I also really appreciated about this play was uh, how race is handled in it. You know, it's um, uh, this white woman who kind of chatters and chatters, um, doesn't have a mean bone in her body, but uh, many of the things she's saying are, are, are hurtful to the uh, black family. She's also, you know, the living with the, the other parents. And it's a wonderful example of conversation versus cancel culture. Ready to check out the play? You can do so. Just use the code two houses to receive 30% off tickets to both folks at home and the next show, Dreamhouse. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs>